news, a Westchester man already convicted of inappropriately photographing women and teenagers has been arrested again. Now this time, investigators are saying he was inside a TJ Maxx in Sims Township. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson joining us now. Karen's pretty familiar with this suspect. Well, yeah, I sure am, Mike. I have covered Marty Worley's three previous convictions. Last October, a judge in Butler County ordered him to stay out of Walmart and Target. Well, investigators in Hamilton County say that did not stop him from going into TJ Maxx, where he was caught taking pictures under a woman's skirt. Marty Worley. Marty Worley's latest arraignment began with his attorney telling him to stay behind closed doors. We are asking to waive his presence. Worley never did appear in view of our camera today to face his latest voyeurism charge. But we've seen the 22 year old Westchester man plenty of times before, including last summer when I showed up at his door. You're doing a story on me? Yes. This yeah. is the third charge. At the time, he had three voyeurism charges pending in two counties, Butler and Hamilton, and we wanted answers from him. Kohl's, Walmart, Target. Do you want to explain? Okay, okay, sorry, but no. Now investigators say you can add TJ Maxx at Harper Station to the list of stores where Worley took photos up the skirts of both women and teenagers, in some cases spying on them in dressing rooms. I knew he was going to do it again, and I mean, they basically just smacked him on the hand. Today, we spoke to the father of one of Worley's previous victims. He asked not to be identified because his daughter was 17 when she was victimized inside the Voice of America Target. Her father says his daughter is still dealing with what Worley did to her. She's like home alone or something. You know, she hears a noise, she automatically thinks, you know, like somebody's trying to you know, get in the house, or she still, you know, has that kind of a fear, which is something new. You know, she never really acted like that before. During his arraignment today, his attorney asked for a reasonable bond, saying Worley is his mother's sole provider. The judge ended up setting Worley's bond at $50,000. And one thing I found interesting when addressing the bond, the prosecutor never mentioned Worley was a registered sex offender. And I can tell you, I was actually in the Butler County courtroom last year when the judge ordered him to register as a tier one sex offender. And I even have the court document here saying he should register as a tier one sex offender. But for some reason, he's not on the registry. I'm still trying to find out what's going on there. Did this guy ever serve time uh, in jail or prison for any of these convictions? Yeah, not prison. He did serve jail time in the county jails. He served both in Hamilton County and Butler County. One was 80 days for two convictions, 30 days for another conviction. Uh, but keep in mind what he's been convicted of, they're misdemeanors. So the judge is limited in what they can sentence him to. All right, Karen Johnson uh, on this story yet again, the same guy. Thanks.